privacy issues. Let's talk about that. This is the idea that, oh, you know, you're asking the question, are companies collecting or using data about me without my knowledge? Now, I'm sure you probably used Google. Uh, chances are you have. And every now and then a terms of service window will pop up somewhere. Uh, and you'll probably just scroll down to the bottom and hit agree and continue just so it will go away and you can get on with your searching. But what are you giving away? when you do that? That's a big question. Well, let's have a look. Um, you are giving Google all your search terms. So all the things that you have searched for and visited is being uploaded to Google. And yes, if you have a look at their web and activity, it tells you, you know, all the benefits that gives you. So the idea gives you more personalized experience, faster searches and all that. But one of the main reasons is advertising. So one of the main reasons this is this is done is so that things can be advertised to you in particular. So if you ever maybe, I don't know, maybe decided that you wanted a pair of jeans and then all of a sudden you're finding you're finding adverts and every website that you visit uh, is showing you the pair of jeans that you maybe just looked at or, or Googled or something like that. That is because of this. This is because Google know that you've been searching for a pair of jeans um, and they had therefore advertised to you. And you might not have been aware that that's how that whole mechanism works. But how about this? Think about this. What are you actually typing into Google? What do you actually search for? What kind of profile are Google building about you? And could it at some point in the future potentially be used against you? These are things we just have to bear in mind. You know, we give away our privacy, we give away our data to companies without really thinking about the long term repercussions from them. What could, how could it potentially be used against you? And that's just something to bear in mind. When you use Google, you are giving them your data unless you specifically uh, tell them to turn it off. And then the last thing we're going to cover um, very quickly is environmental issues. And there are all sorts of environmental issues that are sort of thrown up by computers. And this is um, all about. Um, causing harm to nature in some way. So you're causing harm to the natural world. And there's all sorts of examples of uh, of this when you're using computers. The first off is just, if you're sat here watching it, then you are watching this video, then you are using some power and that power has been generated somewhere. So that is being caused, uh, that's causing fossil fuels to be uh, released into the environment. So straight off, we've got that one to worry about that. This is in driving or increase and the use of fossil fuels and, and contributing to climate change. But there's also a lot of sort of precious and rare metals in computers and smartphones that we use every day. So have a look at this. So what I can tell you uh, you're looking at there on the left hand side is a mine. So this is a mine where um, where one of these precious metals come from. And okay, you've got obviously the fact that this is a massive scar on the environment. You can see how it's doing harm to the natural world. It causes toxic gases and liquids to be released into the environment which could then flow downstream and poison rivers as well in the countries where this is mined so this causes all sorts of issues so there are some basic sort of introductions to some of the problems that the use of computers causes environmental issues uh, privacy issues cultural issues and ethical issues it's important we don't hide away from these problems and it's important that we're aware of them because then we can start to do something about them if you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.